In this episode we changed the standing rigging after we found a crack in one of the turnbuckles. We used crack detection spray to find it. Yeah. And then wait. There you have it. The crack there. And uh, yeah, it's a small one as well there. Yes. Go to workshop. Now we are in the workshop and uh, try to invent something to hold the standing rigging so we can do a correct measuring of everything. And uh, after that it's time to order the new rigging. We have this one. Put it there. Let me put this one on top. And a little knot there. Now we have connected in this yeah. uh, end and uh, go all this way to the other end. And then tie it up. Yeah. We yeah. measure everyone at the same way. Yeah. Be 16 meter and 41 centimeters to the end. Good. <laughs> the, our invent works. Yeah. That's good. Good. Time to measure next one. Next one. Heading out to Stockholm again. Again, to the rigger. Yeah. Pick up the new uh, standing rigging. The mast is standing up on the boat now. So. Yeah. We splashed it yesterday. Yeah. So we... Yeah. Not the mast, the whole boat. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> we go to pick up the new standing rigging and then we change it when the boat's... And, oh, when the mast is standing up. And the boat so are in the water. Yeah. So, so it will be a challenge yeah. to fix it. But uh, it is what it is. Yes. It's, we, the, the, it's the part to the rig yeah. that was delayed, so that's yeah. the problem. So Finally we got the shrouds, so now we will try to measure the stop knots for the spreaders. Yeah. So I will put one on top and one on the bottom and the spreader tip will be between these two. So the mission today is to measure everything up so this will be on the right place. Be on the right place, yeah exactly. So we have uh, a lot of measurements to do and we also need to to stretch the wire so it will be in the right place. So it will be easy for, for us to, to measure everything. It's a little bit tricky to fix this I think but I with the plan we have, <laughs> we think we can manage to do In it. In your mind, everything <laughs> goes well for the first time. So? to measure. Everything is okay. So we go up in the mast and fix this. 
I want the spreader to be from this side so they don't be like this yeah. the spreader so it's better to go up in the mast after we have fixed everything and then go up and turn this to the right position and thread locking on it so then it sits there and I think this would be a good good solution we start with the lower shrouds We used a halyard to get the old shrouds down and to hoist the new one. It worked out really good. Time to do a um, workout again and put him up to the top of the mast. So, yeah, it's heavy. Are you ready? Okay. You can see him up there. It's a really heavy job. Yes. I think I need to put him on a diet for next year. It's really heavy, but uh, now he's up. I will show you where he is. Up there, up in the sky. After that part, we need to prepare the disconnection of the shrouds from the spreaders. And now we can change the rest of the shrouds. Because of that, we need to go up and down several times in the mast. Now I can disconnect these ones. Yep, go down to the spreaders. So that, that's good. Nu bara dra ur den skulle jag tro vi ska se. Ja. Ja. Ja, kan du försöka sätta dit den igen? Oh. Everything looks good. We use the main halyard as backstay when we change to the new backstay. Yep, exciting day. Yeah, <laughs> exciting moments. Prepare for the. Yeah. 
Go back. Back to stay. Yes. Now uh, are these projects almost finished? Yeah. Just small adjustments to do? Yes. We have oh. test sail a little bit. Yeah, and do small adjustments yeah. after that. And now we think it's good enough before we do maybe some more when the masts are down again. Yeah, we will uh, continue this work uh, this winter again. Yeah. Because it's small adjustments we need to do yes. that we couldn't do when the mast is standing up. So. And now when everything else are so nice, maybe we need to do something with the mast. Because <laughs> yeah. I think it's ugly now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We will see what happens. But n not more about that. What have we changed? So we choose die form instead of rod rig. We have uh, changed furling system and install an extra one for the jib. In the backstay we chose to have dunema instead of wire and we think it's really good. It's nice to hold in when you go around on the back of the boat and uh, it will be stronger than the wire. Uh, so we think it's good. We even changed the block and we changed the top of the 